Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to interchange the values of two variables without using third variable. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we will write input output stream dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in a angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file. Now let us write wide main function curly open brace and here in a declaration section we are going to declare the two variables of type integer. So here I am going to write int a comma b and put semicolon. So the purpose of this program is to interchange two variables without using the third variable. So hence we have to take only two variables over here. After declaring the two variables, I am going to write CLR SCR function which is used to clear the screen. Now I am going to ask the user to enter the two numbers using cout statement. Here I have written cout stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark. I am going to write enter the two numbers and backward slash n will bring the cursor down to the next line and we are going to receive the input from the user through keyboard using scene stream extraction operator a stream extraction operator b and put semicolon so after receiving the values of both the variables a and b it has to be printed for that i'm going to use cout stream insertion operator and in a double quotation mark i'm going to write before interchanging a is equal to end the double quotation mark whatever we write it in a double quotation mark it will be printed as it is onto the console next i am going to write stream insertion operator variable a so whatever the value that you have entered so that value will be printed in place of a next stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i am going to write and b is equal to end the double quotation mark stream insertion operator b stream insertion operator end l so end l performs the same operation as that of backward slash n which brings the cursor down to the next line now i am going to write the logic uh, of interchanging two numbers without using the third variable so here i am going to write a is equal to a plus b and put semicolon then b is equal to a minus b and a is equal to a minus b and put semicolon here i am going to write c out statement after this particular logic we have to display after interchanging a is equal to end the double quotation mark stream insertion operator a and stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark and b is equal to end the double quotation mark stream insertion operator b and stream insertion operator end l and then put semicolon now i am going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace for this main function now let us take an example i am going to write here output once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the two numbers and just because of this backward slash n the cursor come down to the next line for example i am going to enter 10 and 20 so this 10 will be stored in the first variable a so here i am going to write a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 now it is going to print before interchanging before interchanging a is equal to so whatever you have written in a double quotation mark it will be printed as it is and here a is equal to the value of this variable is 10 so here i'm going to write 10 next and b is equal to it will be printed as it is and b is equal to will be printed then here we have written the variable name b so variable b is holding value 20 so it is going to print 20 and just because of this end l the cursor come down to the next line next it is going to perform a is equal to a plus b so here i'm going to write a is equal to a is 10 plus b is 20 so 10 plus 20 is 30 will be stored in a next instruction is b is equal to 
a minus b so a is what now now a is 30 30 minus b is what b is 20 so 30 minus 20 is 10 10 will be stored in b the next third statement is a is equal to a minus b what is the value of a now 30 minus b value is now it is 10 so 30 minus 10 is 20 will be stored in a now after performing these three operations we are going to go for c out after interchanging a is equal to will be printed as it is so after interchanging a is equal to up to here it will be printed as it is and next the value stored in this variable so here the latest value of a is 20 so here i'm going to write 20 and b is equal to will be printed as it is and then the value stored in this variable b so latest value of b is 10 here you can see earlier it was a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 after interchanging a is equal to 20 and b is equal to 10 now it's time to execute this program let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no error now let us run this program by pressing ctrl f9 here it is asking the user to enter two numbers for example i am going to enter 10 and 20 and then press enter here you can see it is displaying before interchanging a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 after interchanging a is equal to 20 and b is equal to 10 i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you mm -hmm.